The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Since the Passover of the Jews was near, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. He found in the temple area those who sold oxen, sheep, and doves, as well as the money changers seated there. He made a whip out of cords and drove them all out of the temple area with the sheep and oxen and spilled the coins of the money changers and overturned their tables. And to those who sold doves, he said, Take those out of here and stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples recalled the words of scripture, Zeal for your house will consume me. At this, the Jews answered and said to him, What sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered and said to them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews said, This temple has been under construction for 46 years, and you will raise it up in three days? But he was speaking about the temple of his body. Therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this. And they came to believe the scripture that the word and the word Jesus had spoken. While he was in Jerusalem for the feast of Passover, many began to believe in his name when they saw the signs he was doing. But Jesus would not trust himself to them because he knew them all and did not need anyone to testify about human nature. He himself understood it well. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Boys and girls, let's see how Big Al is doing today. It's not me, it's Annie. Oh, it's going to be Annie. Well, then. Let's have Annie come on out. Annie, how are you doing? Well, well, can you tell me? It's hard. It's hard and good. Hard and good. Hmm. That's about how a lot of life is. Is there something in particular with you? Oh. Can I tell them? So, boys and girls... Somebody was, well, mean to Annie. Some of the kids were, like, not playing with her. Lonely. And it felt lonely. But then, someone was kind to her, and it made all the difference. And Annie wrote a prayer. And I'm going to read that prayer now, because it shows how much of a difference we can make by kindness, and it goes like this. She was kind to me today when others turned their heads. I could have felt so lonely. I felt your love instead. Annie felt God when someone was kind to her. I thank you for her goodness, God. She helped me know you care. Her simple act of kindness showed that you were there. Oh, I know it's kind of hard, Annie. Sometimes people can be kind of mean, but God gets it. God sees the goodness in you. And I'm glad that that person helped you know that you were not alone. Bye. And boys and girls, I hope no one is ever mean to you. It's not right, but there's something they cannot take away from you. God sees you, and God sees in you and knows that you matter so much. And God counts on you to help others by being kind too. <laughs> 